Hey guys, this video is going to go over finding the area of a circle. So you will need a calculator and your note sheet while watching this video. All right, the first thing that we're gonna talk about is the area of a circle. So first thing you need to know is what is area? So area basically is how much space a shape takes up or the area inside of the shape. So what I just shaded in, that's the area of the shape. Now, to find the area of a circle, it has a special formula. Just like for rectangles and triangles, a circle has its own formula as well. And here is the formula. So for a circle, we write A equals, the A stands for area. You're going to take pi, whatever pi is, you know that, times the radius squared. All right, so you'll see it written like this. A equals pi r squared. That's what you, you'll kind of need to know. Um, I'll walk you through how it works on the next page, and we'll actually find the area of some circles. All right, so we have a circle here, um, and we want to find the exact area and the approximate area. So first thing that we know is the area formula is pi r squared. So first thing I would always do is write that down. Now, one other thing I always do when I'm working with circles is I usually come up by the circle and I write down right away what's the diameter, and I write down what the radius is. So that might be a good thing for you guys to do. So I know that the diameter of this circle all the way across is 20. So I'll just fill that in. The diameter is 20. And the radius I know is halfway across. So half of 20 is 10. Okay, so I would always do that first. Okay, now let's come down to our formula. Okay, and we'll just kind of rewrite stuff. I'm trying to find the area. So I'll keep my A equals, I know pi, 3.14. And then I need to do the radius and square it. So my radius, I'll come back up here. I see it's 10. So I'm going to do 10 squared. All right, so now when you grab your calculator, this is how you need to type it in, okay? I usually do, you need to follow the order of operations. So you need to do the 10 squared first. So if you want, you can either type in 10 squared on your calculator or just type in 10 times 10, which is 100. Now you can times that by pi, which is 3.14. Okay, so do 100 times 3.14. And I end up with my area equaling 314 centimeters squared because it's area. Now, that answer, remember, that's the approximate area, okay? That's approximate because we rounded pi. 3.14, that's not really what pi is. That's an estimate for it. Okay, if we were going to write the exact area, it's more exact if you just keep the pi symbol. So really, I would just come back down to, let's see, so my area is pi r squared, all right, I'm just going to keep the pi, and then my radius was 10 squared. Well, 10 squared is 100, and then times whatever pi is, and then centimeters squared. That's a more exact answer, because instead of actually putting something in for pi, we just, we know pi is a weird number, it goes on forever and ever, so we just keep it like that. Most of the time, you're going to be finding the approximate area. Okay, let's try another one. We'll find the approximate area. So first thing that you might want to do is let's go ahead by the circle and let's go by the circle and write down what's the diameter and what the radius is. Okay, well this time it gives us only halfway across the circle, so that's the radius. My diameter is if I doubled it, so 2.4 times 2, which would be 4.8. Okay, so there's my diameter. All right, so we're trying to find the area of this circle, so let's go ahead and write my formula, A equals pi r squared. Okay, we're trying to find area, so I'll keep my A. I know what pi is, I'll write that, 3.14. And then my radius, I'll fill in and I have to square it. My radius is 2.4. All right, so now when you grab your calculator, you need to do the square part first. So do 2.4 squared. Okay, that's always first. You always do your exponent first. So do 2.4 times 2.4. Okay, and I get 5.76. And now I need to times that by pi, or 3.14, and then I'll have my area. So go ahead, type that in, times 3.14. All right, and my answer is 18.0864. All right, so now your final answer, you don't want to leave all those decimals there. So let's say I ask you to round to the nearest hundredth. So you guys need to kind of review your decimal spot. So this is the tenth, this is the hundredth. So you want two decimal spots. So I know it's going to be 18.0 something. When you're rounding to the nearest hundredths, you look at the third spot, okay, it's, if it's five or higher, you round this number up. So this is a five or higher, so I'm going to round that up one spot, so that would turn into a nine. So my final answer is 18.09 centimeters squared for the area of this circle. 
All right, let's find the area of this circle. Now, this is a semicircle or a half circle. So just like when we did circumference, we're going to do the same kind of thing. So first, let's go ahead and write down my diameter of this circle all the way across is 6. The radius, only halfway across, is 3. Okay, so for area, I'm going to write down my formula, pi r squared. All right, so think about what are you going to do to find the area of this circle if it's only half a circle? All right, well, you could pretend it's a full circle and find the area of the full circle first. So let's do that. So a equals pi times my radius, my radius is 3, squared. Okay, so I have area equals pi times, you can do 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. All right, let's go to our calculator and type in um, 3.14 times 9, and we get 28.26. Now, that's the area for a full circle. We only have half a circle, so what we're going to do is just split this in half. So just divide it by 2. And I end up with 14.13. So my final area is 14.13 meters squared. There's my area of that half circle. All right, so the next type of problems that you are going to run into are problems where you're finding the area of just part of a circle or part of a shape like this one down here. I might ask you to find me the area of just this part that's shaded in. All right, so here are the steps that you need to write down on your note sheet for finding the area of shaded regions. Step one is to find the area of the whole shape. So we just find this whole entire shape here is a circle. So we just find the area of the whole shape. Step two, it says once you have that, so whatever number you get, you're gonna divide that by how many sections there are. So look at this circle. How many sections is it split into? That's 5. Okay, so I'm going to divide that by 5, okay? Because basically I'm trying to find, let's see, 3 fifths of this circle. So I'm going to divide it by the denominator, okay? And then, so once I have that, that's what each section is. Your last step is multiply by the part that's shaded in. Well, there's three parts that are shaded, so I would times it by 3. Okay, so that's how you find the area of shaded regions. We'll, we'll walk through one so you can see what it looks like. All right, so we have this circle, and you see some is shaded in blue, and we want to find the area of that shaded part. So step number one, find the area of the full circle. So it's area equals pi r squared. All right, so I have my area equals pi is 3.14. My radius is 5, and I'll square it. Okay, so I'm going to do 3.14 times 25. Go ahead, type that in to find the area of the full circle. When you type that in, you end up with 78.5. Okay, that's the full circle. Now, if you notice, you kind of have to look and see, well, what part is kind of, what part of a circle is this? Well, to me, it looks like it's three-fourths of the circle. So kind of think to yourself, like, I'll split it into my four parts, right? And how many, so I'm basically trying to find three-fourths of that circle, right? So there's four total sections, one, two, three, four. Three of them are shaded in. So your next step is to divide it into four parts because there's four sections, Okay, that's the denominator. So let's do 78.5 divided by 4. That gives me 19.625. That means each of these parts is 19.625. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Now we only want the shaded parts, so it looks like there are three of those, so I can finally times that by 3. So times by 3, and I end up with 58.875. Okay, now let's round it. Let's round it to the nearest tenth. So look at the number after the 8, which is a 7. It's higher than 5, so you round that up. So it would be 58.9 centimeters squared. There's your area of just the shaded part. Now I just want to point out to you guys, sometimes I rounded to the 10th, sometimes to the 100th. I just wanted to show you two examples. So this was the 10th. On the last problem we did, I rounded, or a couple problems ago, I rounded to the 100th. So it just depends what they're asking you for. Remember, it's 10th, 100th, thousandths. Okay. All right, why don't you push pause and try this problem out, um, see what you get, and then push play to watch me do it. All right, so first step, I'm trying to find the area of this shaded part of the circle, and I can see that there's two, it's two-thirds of the circle, right? There's two parts shaded out of three. So first step, let's go ahead and find the total area of the circle, pi r squared. So I'm going to do area equals pi times my radius, which is 8 squared. Okay, so I know 8 squared is 64 times 3.14. So I'll type that in quick. 
I end up with 200.96. All right, that's the area of the full circle. Okay, next step. You're going to take that 200.96, you're going to divide it into three, into three parts because there's three parts, right? So let's divide it in by three. I'll hit divide by three. I get 66.986 repeating. Okay, I'll just round that up to seven. 60, well, let's just round it. 66.98, okay, if we round that up, look at this next number. This becomes, round nine up, it becomes a 10. So really, let's round it to 67. Okay, so each of these parts is around 67 if I round. Now we just need the area of the green part. So I'm going to do 67 times 2. So when I type in 67 times 2, I end up with 134 centimeters squared. And again, I times that by 2 because I had two shaded sections. All right, last one. We have a sprinkler. So here's my sprinkler. It's going to shoot water out. Okay, and it keeps spinning, spinning. You know, sprinkler, it shoots water out everywhere. We want to know how much lawn can that sprinkler water, okay? So if you think about it, it kind of covers a circular area, all right? And it says it shoots out a distance of eight feet. So from the, where the sprinkler is to all the way out here, that's eight feet. Same thing here, that's eight feet all the way around. So I wanna know um, what's the area of the lawn that will get watered, okay? So it covers the whole thing. It spins all the way around, so it's the area of a full circle. So all I need to do is pi r squared, so I'll do 3.14 times 8 squared. Well, I know 8 squared is 64 times 3.14 to get my final answer. Okay, I'll type that in, 3.14 times 64. And I end up with 200.96 um, and it's feet squared. That's how much area the sprinkler will cover.